Dear beloved congregation, today we embark on a journey to explore one of the most profound mysteries of our faith, the Holy Trinity. As we delve into the depths of this divine truth, may our hearts be open to the majesty and wonder of God's triune nature, and may we come to a deeper understanding of His eternal presence in our lives. Matthew 28, 19. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. At the heart of our Christian faith lies the belief in the triune nature of God, three distinct persons in one divine essence. We acknowledge God as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, co-equal and co-eternal, each fulfilling unique roles yet existing in perfect unity. Genesis 1.1 In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The Father is the creator of the universe, the source of all life and existence. From the vast expanse of galaxies to the intricate details of every living creature, his power and wisdom are displayed in the wonders of creation. As our Heavenly Father, He sustains us with His love and providence, guiding us with steadfast care. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. The Son, Jesus Christ, is the embodiment of God's love and mercy, sent into the world to redeem humanity from sin and death. Through His sacrificial death and resurrection, He offers salvation to all who believe reconciling us to the Father and restoring our relationship with Him. As the Son of God, He reveals the Father's heart and invites us into intimate communion with Him. John 14, 26. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. The Holy Spirit is the divine presence dwelling within believers, empowering us for service and sanctifying us for holiness. He convicts us of sin, leads us into truth, and equips us with spiritual gifts for the work of ministry. As our comforter and guide, He accompanies us on our journey of faith, illuminating the scriptures and directing our steps according to God's will. 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 6 There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone it is the same God at work. While the concept of the Holy Trinity may elude human comprehension, we embrace it with humility and awe, recognizing that God's ways are higher than our ways. Just as the three persons of the Trinity exist in perfect harmony, so too are we called to live in unity amidst our diversity, reflecting the love and fellowship of our triune God. John 10.30 I and the Father are one. The relationship within the Trinity is characterized by perfect unity and mutual love. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit exist in eternal communion, each distinct yet inseparable from the others. Just as Jesus declared His oneness with the Father, we are invited into this divine fellowship through faith in Him. Our relationship with God is not static but dynamic, mirroring the dynamic unity of the Trinity. 2 Corinthians 13, 14 May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The Trinity invites us to participate in the divine dance of love, the eternal exchange of grace, love and fellowship between Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Through prayer, worship, and communion with God, we enter into this sacred rhythm, experiencing the fullness of His presence and the abundance of His blessings. As we surrender to His leading, we become active participants in His divine plan for redemption and restoration. Genesis 1.26 Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. As beings created in the image of the triune God, we are called to reflect His nature in our relationships and communities. Just as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit dwell in perfect unity, so too are we called to live in harmony with one another, bearing witness to the love and unity of our triune God. By embodying the virtues of love, humility, and selflessness, we mirror the image of God to the world around us, drawing others into the beauty of His divine community. John 4, 23, 24 Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit, and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and His worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. True worship of the triune God transcends mere rituals and forms. It is a heartfelt expression of reverence, adoration, and obedience offered in spirit and truth. When we worship God in the power of the Holy Spirit, with sincere hearts and minds attuned to His Word, we experience a deepening of our relationship with Him and a deeper understanding of His triune nature. Acts 1.8 But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. As recipients of God's love and grace, 
we are commissioned to be witnesses of his triune nature to the world. Through our words and deeds, we testify to the reality of God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, inviting others into relationship with him. As we walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, empowered by the love of Christ and guided by the wisdom of the Father, we bear witness to the transformative power of the triune God in our lives and in the world. Psalm 1611. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. The triune God desires to walk with us daily, guiding us along the path of life and filling us with his joy and presence. Through prayer, meditation on scripture, and moments of quiet reflection, we can experience the reality of God's presence in our lives. As we invite the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to dwell within us, we find strength, comfort, and assurance in the journey of faith. 1 Corinthians 12:12. 12, 12. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. The triune God calls us to embrace unity and diversity within the body of Christ. Just as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are distinct yet united, so too are we called to celebrate our unique gifts and talents while recognizing our interconnectedness as members of the body of Christ. By honoring one another, bearing each other's burdens and walking in love, we reflect the harmonious nature of our triune God to the world. Revelation 21.3 And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and He will dwell with them. They will be His people, and God Himself will be with them and be their God. Our journey with the triune God culminates in the glorious promise of eternal fellowship with Him. In the new heaven and new earth, we will dwell in the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for all eternity. There we will experience the fullness of joy, peace, and love in the intimate communion of the triune God. As we eagerly await this blessed hope, let us live each day in anticipation of the eternal fellowship that awaits us in the presence of our triune God. Dear brothers and sisters, as we conclude our reflection on the triune God, may we be filled with gratitude for the depth of His love and the richness of His presence in our lives. Let us continue to seek Him with all our hearts, walking in obedience to His word and yielding to the leading of His Spirit. May the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be glorified in all that we do now and forevermore. Amen.